Hello friends. So thank you for joining me for another plan with me. Uh, for this week, I am actually headed to the beach for the majority of this week. So I knew weeks ago that I wanted to use the summer sticker book to document this week. And I actually have two of them because I love this book so much. It's so cute. There's these little doodles of these swimsuits and the sun and it's just like it's just absolutely perfect for a beach week and to be honest I didn't know if I was going to get to go to the beach this year because we do have a baby that was just born in March he's four months old so we weren't sure if it was going to happen but it's happening we're going to try it and I'm really excited I also grabbed a couple stickers from this year to shine book because there are some stickers in there that just kind of remind me of sand so that's what these are. I already pulled out some stickers, as you can see. So there's these and these watercolor stickers that just kind of reminded me of sand. And then these little speckled stickers. Those are from Year to Shine. Everything else is from the summer sticker book, including these letters here. We are headed to Emerald Isle, if you're familiar with the North Carolina coast at all. That's where we're going. And I thought I would do a bit of a sunset ocean type spread. So I selected stickers that match that color scheme, this like dark indigo, the orangish, the pinks. Um, that's sort of what I'm going for. I really don't have much of a plan outside of these stickers that I selected. So we're just gonna, just gonna see what happens. <laughs> so I'm gonna pull my pages off the discs always pull my pages off before I get started. I really don't know how anybody can <laughs> plan decoratively with their pages on the discs. So this was just a little sticky note that I stuck here um, a while back to remind myself what book I wanted to use. And then of course I've got the tools that I'm going to need. My cutter bee scissors. Oh. My Exacto knife. What else? I pretty much use this every week as well. My Tombow correction tape and my tweezers for sticker placement. All right. So let's see here. I thought that these little wave washi strips would be cute. I'm not sure where I'm going to put those yet or if this is gonna be enough, but fortunately I have two summer sticker books so I can grab more if I need them. I think I'm gonna start by laying some of this because this will make like a good background. So let's see here. This one's darker than these two. So I wanna space them out and kind of alternate them. So let's see, I think I might start up here In this corner. But I'm going to white out this note here in case I don't fully cover it. And let's go ahead and just lay this down like that. I promise I have no plan. I'm just kind of thinking on the fly here. We'll see how it turns out. I don't love every spread I make. <laughs> I promise you that. But it's just stickers. It's just planning. It's just supposed to be fun. So I'm trying my best to not take it so seriously don't have to take it so seriously. This is just a hobby, it's fun. And that's it. Okay, so I've got those kind of spread out and I'm gonna create some clusters around that somehow, but I'm not sure how yet. <laughs> I do wanna put these letters 
somewhere on the page. So let's see. Now we're gonna leave for the beach on Tuesday, so I need to mark that somehow. And then Monday is gonna be like a getting ready day. So I'm definitely gonna want a to-do list probably on Monday evening. So let's just go ahead and put this down. Me, you know, doing lots of packing and things of that nature. All right, I'm gonna grab one of these cutie little swimsuits here and maybe layer it with one of these. Okay, I'm realizing here I have a lot of stickers that say summer vibes. Summer vibes, summer vibes, summer vibes. So I don't need that many summer vibes. So what I might do, because I really like these stickers, I might see if I have another yellow box that doesn't say summer vibes. So let's see, where are those boxes? Okay, this one's got sunglasses, that'll work. Stick it on my wax paper to get some of the sticky off in case I want to move it around a bit. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and just kind of stick that on there. That's cute. Okay, let's maybe add some of these sandy specks around it. Just make it look a little more like sand. You probably can't even see that. It's very, very subtle, but that's okay. All right, and then I like this time for vacation sticker. Let's see if I wanna layer it with anything. Sometimes I like to layer a couple of these boxes together, but in this case I might, well, you know what? I might like make it kind of not so straight. Just to kind of make it a little bit more interesting. Put that crooked like that. And then this one. I'm not really going to need to write down many plans this week because I'll be on vacation, as much of a vacation as it can be with a three-year-old and a four-month-old. <laughs> um, so this looks kind of busy, but I still kind of like it. I think it's cute. Maybe grab another swimsuit. I don't want to use either of these swimsuits because it's just a lot of like warm tones right here. So I want to see if I have any more of these blue ones left because it's a little bit more um, cool tone for that spot. Here we go. Now it is a clear sticker, so I don't know how it's going to look, but let's see. So cute, I love that, love it. Okay. So far it's coming together pretty decently. Um, let's see, I need to add some quotes. Got these quotes and that's one of the things I love about those seasonal books is the quotes with really, really cute lettering. Let's go ahead and stick this maybe over here somewhere. Good friends and summer nights. We're actually going with some really good friends of ours who invited us to their beach house. So that makes it even more awesome. Okay, 
then I think I'm gonna add a couple of these washi strips. I feel like I have to have washi in every single spread or it doesn't look complete. Anyone else feel that way? I'm definitely a big fan of washi tape. <laughs> okay, so now let's add some more of these boxes here. So I'm gonna put this one here, sunsets and ocean waves. And then I think I'm gonna put my Emerald Isle probably right around here. So what I like to do when I'm placing letters is I like to grab a ruler because I can stick them on the edge of the ruler and make them all lined up and then I can place it really, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, precisely, that's it. So I'm going to place them here on the edge of my ruler. I do not remember where I learned this trick, but it is not something I came up with. I am not that smart. <laughs> But as soon as I saw someone do this, I was like, oh my goodness, that is genius. And I wish I remember who I saw do this. If you're watching this video and you know that you invented this trick, please let me know so I can worship you forever. Okay. I wasn't sure if I was gonna film a plan with me this week because to be completely honest, I've been feeling kind of overwhelmed with just you know keeping up with social media and not with planning itself because planning actually relaxes me, but just the whole social media side of it can feel really demanding sometimes. Um, and that's not how it should be, right? And I know I, I don't usually feel that way. I've just been feeling that way recently because, you know, I've got little kiddos and social media just requires a lot of time on electronic devices. Here, look how beautiful that is. I love it. And it's all straight because of my handy dandy ruler. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, the social media side of it just requires that you're on your phone a lot to really like keep up with Instagram and the community and everything. And I do love the social media side of it, but I just needed a break. And I've been really enjoying getting back into YouTube, but I don't want it to get to a point where it's overwhelming me again. It was really overwhelming me last summer when I stopped filming videos because I was pregnant and exhausted. So let's see, I almost want it to be down a little bit more. like I need to move that up a little bit, but that's going to be a lot of work. So instead, I think I'm just going to white out some of that line. This is a jelly roll pen. I think the person I first saw use a jelly roll to white out these lines was Allie from 
according to Allie. She's got a lot of amazing tricks up her sleeves, that girl. Okay. Gonna have to be a little bit more over here. And I'm probably going to peel up the E and the D and white out those lines also. I don't use this trick that often because to be totally honest, I don't uh, find that having that green, the green, that black line bothers me that much in most situations. Um, but in this case, I do think it's gonna bug me. So we just need to wait for that to dry a minute. And while I'm doing that, I'll peel up this E. And the D. This will just make it pop a little bit more. Oop. Just kind of guessing here how big I need to make that. Okay, so while that's drying, I'm just gonna kind of think about what I wanna do here. So let's see. Do I wanna put that or do I wanna put this one down? Actually I might wanna put it this way. If I put it this way, I'm gonna to have to cover up this summer vibes, but. I think putting a swimsuit over that might be really cute. Okay, let's go ahead and place this back down. Cause that should be dry now. swimsuit would look cute there covering up that summer vibes but I wonder if there are any paper swimsuits I feel like there is but they're smaller yeah so that won't really work because that's a little bit too small Here's a purple one. I feel like that's gonna be too small too. I really like the big ones. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the big one, but I might, I might use that somewhere else in the spread. We'll see. Okay, let's grab my correction tape. Something on there. 
kind of weird. It's like a little blue mark on there. Oh well, I'm just gonna have to live with it. And I think this is probably Gonna show through some of that blue there. I think I'm gonna push put this down like that. So I might take my correction tape and just white out that blue. This is hard to do though because I'm like I'm trying to guess how far this start so right here then how far up do I need to go up to about here this is just guesstimating at its finest here okay And then yeah, I need to cut off this little blue thingy that got on there. So that's gonna bother me. There. Cute. I like it so far. It's very summery, very cute. Okay. Now, <clears throat> need to add a little bit more to these layers here. I think I'm going to go back into this book. Maybe I want to use one of these little banners, or maybe just the shorter ones will be good. Let's see, I like this happiness. That's cute. lot of warm tones down here so let me see if I have some more cooler tone boxes suit on it. Why not? <laughs> <clears throat> See, don't want to put 
shot here? No, because that's two boxes that are too similar. Let me just think here a minute. Maybe I'll start adding a little bit of washi to this side of the page. Trying to think of where else I want to put the washi. Maybe up here, maybe here. So I think I'm actually going to move this strip up here. Because I like my washi to be. Kind of spaced out so I'll put it here I'll put it here I'll put it here I'll put it here filling in this teeny tiny gap here that I'm sure no one would have even noticed but I will and these strips just go a little bit further than the boxes Another reason why I've been taking a little bit of a social media break is because I'm trying to get back in the mindset of going back to work, which is going to be happening in a few weeks from now. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am a licensed marriage and family therapist, and I am a contractor in a private practice that a good friend of mine owns. And um, I have now been on maternity leave for over four months, going on five months. I initially extended it because my daughter's school was going to be closed for the whole summer. We had originally signed her up for summer camp at her school and they closed due to the situation. So, and at the time, I didn't, we didn't know what the situation was going to be with the reopening of her school or if they were even going to. So I knew that we were going to need a nanny for my four-month-old, but I wasn't sure if I was going to need to find someone for both of them or just the baby. So I just, we decided it was easier to just extend my leave. So that's what we did. But now her school is set to reopen. on August 24th. So that is when 
I will be going back to work. And I actually spent a good portion of the day today calling my clients to let them know that I am finally coming back and to start scheduling them for that last week in August. So I've been busy, you guys. <laughs> And it's not like I have a lot of free time to myself. <laughs> like literally, I made those phone calls during the brief amount of time that I had to myself today. So that's just mom life, right? Just adding this, these little sandy stickers around the spread. I'm also trying to think about what else the spread needs. I love these little sandals, aren't those so cute? So as I'm looking at it, I'm seeing this emerald isle here and it's making me want to add some more letters over here just to kind of balance it. So I think what I might do is add like beach vacay or something on this side. So let's do that. I'm just gonna put them directly on my ruler here. thinking because these are like warmer tones that I might want to do cooler tones for those letters if they have it. Yeah, we've got cooler tones here. B, E, A, C, H. Yep. Okay. <coughs> Just so that I'm not boring you with putting those back, I'll put those back later. means I need to get my jelly roll <laughs> and white out that line from here to here <clears throat> oh and I need to add some more to-do lists 
to the spread. Not a lot, but just maybe one or two more. Definitely one on the weekend for to do's for after we get back from the beach. Then let's see, I'm gonna have to white out some of this line here too. I really love this wild styled planner and how thin these boxes are. It's almost like they're just a guide so you can use them if you want. Like for some of these box stickers, if you want to place them in it, it's a nice guide, but they're not very bold and obvious. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that dry for a second while I figure out where my other to-do lists are gonna go. I think I'll put one, maybe I'll put one up here and then one down there on Sunday. That'll be a good list to have for things to do as we get ready to leave the beach and then these will be to do's for when we get home. Trim that one a little bit. I'm actually going to trim all of them. So I kind of like the way it looks when there's a little bit of white space under the list. Don't ask me why, I just like it. Okay, so this is probably dry now. So let's go ahead and put this down. Really not a vacay when you've got kids, but it's getting out of Raleigh, and that's in and of itself a bit of a vacation. And there will be some vacation y moments, I hope, I hope, I hope. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, let's 
let that dry for a second. Gotta have a sun up in the corner, especially a cute sun. I thought I was going to be able to place this without needing to white out any of this line, but apparently I'm wrong. Let's go ahead and white out a little bit of that. I think the spread is basically going to be done after that. I have one more swimsuit here that I could use, but I kind of think it looks pretty done. these pages back on the discs and then I'll really be able to tell if it's done. I'm actually going to use my punch and do my best to line this up here. Did anybody get the black punch that was recently released? I have not gotten that one yet. But what's cool about it is it actually tells you where to line up your mini planner, not just your classic or your big. So that's kind of cool. All right. pretty cute and I don't feel like it's necessarily missing anything there's some white space that I can use to just kind of write what we did or even if it was nothing <laughs> um, and yeah I think it's I think it looks I think it looks good so I'm pretty happy with how it turned out um, so yeah, if you liked this video, please go ahead and click that like button and I'd love if you subscribe to my channel. Um, I am going to be trying to put out more regular content here in the coming weeks and months. Um, so, and yeah, and please leave me a comment too. I love hearing from you. Do you like this particular sticker book? What's your favorite summer sticker book? Um, I'd love to hear in the comments. And yeah, thank you so much for watching.